Hey there, it's Depth Myth Moon, Moon, Myth Moon, whatever you want to call me. And today I'm going to be taking y'all with me as I start my ninth sketchbook. As y'all can see, I have some of my old sketchbooks here and a common theme with stickers. But this time I started the Uhuru Marker Pad sketchbook and it was just so blank and white that I just felt the need to draw something on it and create on it. The pages are bleed proof marker paper, kind of like my previous render sketchbook, but I'm telling y'all right now, this paper was so, so, so much better than the render sketchbook paper. This is what I expected when I got the render sketchbook. I don't wanna keep sounding like I'm hating on the render sketchbook every time y'all hear me talk about it, but the Ohuhu is better. Hands down, I felt so much more creative once I actually did get into the first page of the sketchbook. But I'm deciding to start by decorating the cover. I got out my Posca pens and immediately I knew there was going to be some issues. So when I started, I was like, trying to do the sketch. The sketch at first wasn't too bad as far as how the markers felt on the cover. It's just when I started filling it in where the problems really started. They did not lay down at all how I expected them to. They were scratchy, it was patchy. I was constantly pushing down the pump of the marker because like with the Poscas you have to push down for more ink to come out or paint I guess. And I was pushing like my life depended on it. And then later in the video, I'm trying to use the marker some more and I'm like, Where, where's the ink? Like this is so freaking dry. It's because I used all of it trying to get it on the freaking face. Don't worry, it does get fixed. <laughs> it does get fixed the further I go along, but it does stay in this weird face for a long time. When I first started it, I really was ready to give up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was ready to give up and quit because it was not coming out how I wanted it to. I was trusting the process at this point. I spent so much time conceptualizing this and hyping myself up to get it started that I didn't care how it would come out. I just needed to create. <laughs> The only reason I was able to power through and get this done was because of the whole reason I stopped my previous sketchbook number eight. I want to just be able to make art even if it comes out bad, even if it's not good. The fact that I'm actually doing it is what makes it good in the end and even if it comes out bad, like I'm learning something. That's what I'm trying to get at. Now here, here, I messed up so bad. I messed up so bad. I thought the piece was ruined. I was sitting there panicking, like trying to get as much paint as I could. I just keep adding a darker blue, it'll work out. And you can see me like going over to the side and dipping in like a pool of paint because I realized how much I was doing to my markers and how much paint I was using. So I knew I had to use what I had. You can see it kind of blend in here, but mm -mm, mm -mm. I ended up just deciding to do like a stipling technique where I just used dots because that was how my markers were looking the juiciest and it wasn't like scratching at the cover. going in with a darker purple as shading yeah like by this point I was I was feeling it I was feeling the drawing now it all felt so worth it all the struggles all the panic the internal battles thinking about not making this video it all felt worth it <laughs> at this moment <laughs> Thank you. 
now we're getting into the theme of my sketchbook which is take up space and she may not look like it right now but this is an astronaut character i really want to take this idea into not only my art but into my life as well my art as i mentioned in the last video i felt kind of stagnant with it it felt like I draw the same thing over and over and over again and it doesn't have any life. It's just 2D, it looks like a drawing. And there's nothing wrong with that because some people, including myself, like that style works and it comes out with such good drawings and it's good to just see characters, get ideas down quickly. But for the future of my art, I want to start stepping into something different. I want to start doing stuff where it looks like it's taking up space essentially. So I made sure to put it on the cover so I'm always reminded of what my main goal with this sketchbook is. Um, I wanted to keep that at the forefront of my mind when I'm going into my art in this sketchbook. Now I'm not gonna say every drawing is gonna come out fully rendered with form and I'm using perspective. I'm not saying all that. I am committing to at least trying it and not being afraid to try it. Previously, I just didn't have a skill. I didn't even have the desire to improve that skill. But now I'm curious. I'm curious about what my art will look like if I try and I fail. And even if it's bad, like I said before, I'm learning from it. y'all I'm coming to you real time now to go ahead and start the actual second half of this video I filmed this like a couple days ago and now I want to actually start the sketchbook with y'all not just do the cover so I get nervous sketching on camera so I decided to do it off camera and I don't know if y'all can see it too well Hold on. but yeah I decided to make her an astronaut well in all the plans that I had of her she was supposed to be an astronaut but I didn't do it on the cover because that was hard enough as it was. So I decided to step out of my comfort zone for the first page. I did do some planning off camera as far as the colors because I knew I wanted it to go all out since this is like marker paper, it won't bleed through to the other side or anything. I wanted it to go all out, but I didn't want to mess it up. So I went on my iPad and I started some of the colors that I think I'm going to use. Of course, I didn't finish it and I didn't go too detailed in all of these like I don't know space clouds or whatever but i do have the general idea now if we stick to this that's that's the question helmet might disappear because technically she's an alien she doesn't really need it but then what are these pipes for and it's like a, i mean I, I don't know we'll see how this goes and yeah let's go ahead and get started on the coloring i'm not gonna go too crazy i don't think um trying to do shadow and make i don't know i don't know you just yet but i went ahead and lighten the sketch and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Let's see how this ends, cause if it messes up, I'm just gonna go straight to, to printing it out. I don't know, I don't know. So now we're moving into the second half of the video and it started out so good. It started out so good. I was happy, I was grooving, cruising along with the markers. I was thinking of how good the blending was coming out on the face, which once again, side note, this paper is so good it's exactly what i was expecting of marker paper it doesn't have like a waxy build up it's not like the markers just sit on top of the paper they actually go into the fibers of the paper and it like sinks in i don't know how else to describe it but i enjoyed this process so much just putting down the flat colors and then building up the shadows and layering I was not afraid to go ham as far as how much ink I was using. Certain areas get darker and darker over time as I add more shadow. And I just love how the markers kind of built up and covered up the pencil lines.
So she's an alien in a spacesuit with a helmet. Does she need it is the question. No, not particularly. I could have kept her without the helmet. And I think a lot of the times that I do draw her, I'm gonna keep that off because it's really no point. Like, unless maybe she's an alien that relies on oxygen. I don't know. I haven't come up with a story for her yet. Maybe that's something I'll do in a later video. Who knows? I mainly wanted to draw stuff that I enjoyed. I wanted it to be inspiring for me. That's why I tried an ambitious pose for myself. Yes, this is considered ambitious for me. I don't normally do stuff like this. So I really wanted to try it and get out of my comfort zone a little bit while still keeping some aspects that I really enjoy. For example, I love drawing characters with horns, with those pointy ears. Blue skin is a really common theme. Like I really love space stars. My channel name, for example, Death Myth Moon, anything space related. Um, sign me up <laughs> but previously with the mascots i had a big problem of drawing them once and then not drawing them again until like the end of the sketchbook that's not something i want to do anymore i really want to take this character and keep developing her and actually make her like a mascot of this sketchbook I was planning on giving this character an entire story, background, stuff like that, figure out where she comes from, what she's doing, why she needs oxygen as an alien. But the video turned out shorter than I was expecting. So you can forget about that. Maybe we'll see in another video. I'll delve deeper into her background and maybe develop her a bit more. Who knows? So since I wasn't able to come up with a backstory for her, I also wasn't able to come up with a name. So if y'all want, y'all can leave maybe some suggestions in the comments. And then when I make that video, possibly <laughs> going into her background, I can let y'all know what name I went with. I went in with Posca's, as you can see, I was still on the Posca craze. I wanted to add it and have a pop of color. And you may be looking at this now and thinking, wow, that looks pretty okay. <laughs> Just you wait. I started out with colored pencils uh, just to see if I could do maybe a softer line art. But the moment I got to the lips, I knew it was a wrap. <laughs> I knew it was a wrap. So I kind of used a colorless blender to blend out the colored pencil and it worked really well. I would recommend it. I went in with a brush pen and I really think I went too thick. As y'all can see, I'm lining the face right now. And man, just watching this back, I was devastated, y'all. This was just like the cover. I was so mad at myself. I'm like, no, I ruined the face. That's the one thing I couldn't ruin. Well, ruin is one way to put it. I don't wanna be too negative, but man, I really should have used a, a thinner liner. I don't think, I think I gotta just finish a little bit more, but I ran out of space, first of all. <sighs> and then I had to upload one, then delete it from, I, it, it's still in pro process, ongoing, so let me shut up and see what I can get done. Here, I was gonna cover it, but then I gave up, so I'm like, it is what it is at this point. Yeah, I had some issues, as I said, when it came to recording and the space on my phone. So that's why it suddenly skipped to this thing pretty much being done. I'm just adding Posca just to do something. I just finished it up by writing what sketchbook it is and then the day that I started and I left room for the date that I finished as well.
this is the finished piece. I did use the color pencils in the color in a little bit just to make it more smooth. And then as you can see, I flip over the page. It did not bleed through as advertised, which the swatches should have told y'all that. Now all I gotta do is finish up the goals, which I decided to go ahead and do off camera. I'm excited to see where my art goes as I continue in this sketchbook and y'all can expect a few more videos in the future. I appreciate y'all watching and I hope you enjoyed and I also hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye.